Hello there, um, more Silent Hill today, so let's get started. To be honest, um, I'm not really fond of these next couple of videos because honestly there's like little to no um, progress made. Because, as you can see, like, the layout of the school had changed, so I was honestly, like, beside myself trying to figure out where the hell to go. I hope I picked those up. Did I pick those up? Yeah, I picked those up. I picked those up so good. But, um, like, the school got, like, super creepy. And, like, some parts are blocked off, there's a little gimmick later on with a teleporter, and it just gets really awkward quickly, honestly, so, uh, it, it goes without saying, really, that I get lost pretty fast, and even though I'm not lost the entire time, like, I, I have a general, a general idea of what I'm doing, but, like, here shortly, I'm gonna be, like, running back and forth between places, thinking that's where I'm going, and it's not... That's why these videos are going to be a little long. I, I've i been trying to keep them short lately. But, um, this one... This one's a little lengthy. I think it's like 29 minutes. But yeah, here, here's me trying to figure it out, and... I'm an idiot, and I already have what I needed. But I'm just... I guess I'm just covering bases or something. And pygmies! Children. Pygmy children. The children of pygmies. The children that are pygmies. Get off my crotch, you nutter. Jesus. Poor Harry. I swear God is hit means Harry or something. I know it's either Harry or Henry, and I can't decide which. Face. But yeah, like... Clearly, the entire school has changed. And you cannot leave, clearly. A wheelchair with an amp... Um... Um... Pool? Um... Pool? I don't even think I realized how to pronounce that in the actual video, so... But... Yeah, like, the entire fucking place is kind of creepy. I have the rubber ball, and I think when I'm in my inventory, I see that little card thing. And it's like, well, shit. Yeah, it's pretty obvious what you do with it. But, um, I guess I'm just an idiot. Just wanted to figure out what that does. Kinda hurt, so I think I, yeah, I, I heal. I'm bad at post-commentary, like, no lie, there's still gonna be at least another one of these. I haven't put it together yet. Um, the way we had to do fraps is the newer version kind of crashed, like, they crashed the entire, uh, program. So, uh, I've been, I had to use an older version of fraps for this one, in particular, and, um, I separated it into four gigs each thing. So, um, yeah, I, I have to splice them together. And without commentary, that's really hard, because, um, at the end of this video, I stop on, uh, the map instead of at a save point. And I hadn't realized I did this. Is that exactly where I end the video? I think so. And I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. Why am I standing around? I think I'm trying to figure out... Oh, the bathrooms. Yeah, it's like, okay, girl crying in one bathroom, and now it's like, freaky freak, and all kinds of scary and shit. And, like, bloody sink in the girl's bathroom, I mean, that that's suggestive, isn't it? And, okay, this is where it gets weird. So it's like, where the hell am I, right? And I hear something, obviously, but I, I can't find it. And obviously, I try to hit that door. I try to hit it so hard. See, this is where I got confused. I'm like, where the hell am I? That buzzing sound wasn't there before. 
and there's ammos and stuffs in this room, and shotgun shells. I was very, very happy about that. It's like, oh, it looks like a pink box. Pink or purple or what the fuck ever, I don't care. But, uh, yeah. So this is totally a thing. I'm kind of just trying to figure out where the hell I am. And the gimmick to this entire area is the bathrooms. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So it's like, okay, where'd that door I went through go? Like, there's something on the other side there, but I could have sworn I could have gone through there before, but I can't, and I can't find the door I originally went in. So I'm confused. It's like, where the hell do I go? There's nothing in the girls' restroom, there's nothing in the boys' room. That wall is clearly not a door. The gimmick is the girls' room. As strange as that is. I'm like, maybe if... So, like, okay, maybe... Maybe I missed something somewhere. And I'm looking, and you can clearly see I'm not missing anything. And this had me confused for a while. So I look at the map, and I'm on the second floor now. The girls' room is kind of a portal thing. Don't ask me why, don't ask me how, it, it, it's a portal thing. And this confused me. So uh, every time you go into the girls' room, you go to a different floor. Whether it be the first floor or the second floor, I guess. Hello. Postcom. Oh yep. So, you go back into the girls' room. And, voila, first floor. My door needs to stop closing on its own. You leave the room and you're on the first floor. And there's a door I came through. And I was like really stupid confused. And I was contemplating going into the boys' room because I was afraid I'd do it again, but it didn't, of which I'm glad. And here's a creepy part. I don't know if I, I was panicky about this, but he's like, well, hello there. Because I, I seriously thought it'd come alive and then tear me up. So yeah, that, that was probably why I was afraid. But on the wall here, and Leonard Rhymes, the monster lurks. Le Le Leonard Rhine. Rhine? Rhine. So. That's like a wink later. And I completely miss it at first, but on the floor right there is the shotgun. Shotgun! I don't think I even use it until the boss. Do I? If I use it, it's like once out of sheer curiosity of how powerful it was. But, uh, yeah, I only have like 12 shots with it anyway. I do use the gun a lot later in a later video with actual commentary to it. So, you'll you'll hear me have fun with that. But, um, I think I have like three or four videos after the school recorded. I just need to get around to getting the post-com out of the way so you guys can watch that. And he holds the shotgun like a handgun. If there's anything I have to complain about, it's that. Like, look at him. He holds it like... Who holds a gun like that? Especially a shotgun. That thing's huge. Or supposed to be huge. I mean, whatever. So basically, our objective right now is just run back through the school, figure out where the hell we are, and do shit. And, yeah, I decide against my better judgment to not blow the pygmy straight to hell with a shotgun shell. And then I realized there, there's a lot more of them than there are of me. Which kind of creeped me out at first. Hmm? Whack whack. But it's like, yeah, this is pretty much the entire thing about the uh, demon realm of this school. Is it's all very... Yeah, I just decided to run away and then get it from a range, but then I realized that I cannot swing down and I'm almost dead. I don't think I've died yet. Which is saying something, because I suck at games like this. But I decided to just get the gun and shoot harmlessly at it. And then I, I don't think I got it. Nope, still kind of squirm in there. And now it's dead. Kaboom. 
So, yeah, like, the classrooms are now empty, there's not a whole lot going on. Now, this brings up a good point, because, uh, I always wondered if there was respawning enemies. Oh, fuck this room. I remember this room. Hold on. Telephone, right? No, no cords going to it? From it? Anywhere? Just, just kind of there? I'm like, well, that, that's not blatantly obvious. Why is that there? And then... Uh, yep. Don't pick it up. Why are you picking it up, you fool? He's an idiot. Cheryl! Fucking wish I knew. Okay, so you're in a demented demon school where there are these little children-like things trying to stab you with butcher knives. A phone without any power cord or, like, actual phone cord rings. You don't pick that shit up, you run. I don't care who you are, I don't care why you're there. When a freaking possessed phone starts ringing, you get your ass and you turn around and you leave. If you can't leave the building, just go to a different room. But no, Harry Mason, Harry Mason is on a mission of complete stupidity. Shotgun shells, ammo for the shotgun. No, yeah, fucking think. I don't even know what the hell I was doing right there. I was just gauging my ammunition, I think. I think I completely missed the stairs right there, too. It's like, oh, look, door. Check the map to see where I am. Yep. I think I completely missed the stairs, and then like, where the hell? I was like, oh, right there, right. I'm not the smartest person in the world. Don't worry, that'll become far more apparent here soon. But uh, yeah, we're actually on the hallway that was previously kind of closed off to us, and I, I can hear the bug. I just can't see bug. And I think this is around the part where I actually figure out how to control camera. Unless I did that before. But fortunately for me and my anti-buggy self, um, the area is closed off. Like, as the map will show you right there, you have to go through the classroom to get to that end. So, thankfully, even though you have to go that way anyway, you don't necessarily have to battle the buggies in that section of the hallway. So, that made me feel good. I'm sorry if I'm not seemingly entertaining at this point in time. It, it's just a boring moment for me, because I don't like post-commentary. Of course the lock is jammed. That lock's jammed too, because really there's nothing to do in it, and I guess they're being a little charitable by not making you do anything in those rooms again. And that one's just plain locked. So it's like, where the hell am I? I'm at the library reserve. Woo! Success! I'm getting somewhere. I don't think... I was in there in the actual school at one point, right? It's like, oh great, I have to go through the classroom and through the bottom hallway to actually get to where that is. I'll just go ahead and say, your main objective for this is to get to um, the uh, furnace. Right? Furnace room. So the furnace room's the big one. That's where I'm going. And it takes me like two and a half videos to get that one. It really does. Mm hmm And I executed three children that day. It was a good day. <laughs> yep. Well, they're little children with knives that try to like... I'm not even going to say it. But yeah, like, children, and creepiness, and stuff. Okay, so this room clearly has nothing in it, right? Like, no enemies, no nothing. Aside from creepy music, but that creepy music is just, like, randomly everywhere. And shotgun shells. Um, I keep on trying to make this point. I've been wondering about respawning enemies. But, I'll, I'll spoil something for you, later on, there's enemies in that room. I don't know if it's triggered by how far you went, or 
like what items you have or anything of the sort. I think it's simply triggered by like just I'm not sure. Because the enemies in this hallway, when I kill them, they stay dead. Magic. Shoot them again for good measure. So like the enemies in this hallway, I think stay dead. And like I try to go through that door, like into that classroom again, but there's enemies in there later. So it made me wonder if enemies actually spawn differently, like in a random sort of fashion. And I'm not sure. So far this is the only location that's done that to my memory. And like the overworld in town I can't even call it really an overworld, so forget what I was just saying. But like the entirety of it, like you kill the dogs, the dogs don't come back, and the gargoyles I can't even comment on. Oh, this part. Yep. Um, so yeah, I don't know about the respawning enemy thing, but uh, we're about to go in the locker room where the kitty once was. And where we heard the kitty get eaten. So like, okay, of course I'm a little nervous. So I like, I equipped the shotgun just for good measure, and I heal, and you know me, I'm a very cautious person. And there's the motherfucking locker again. I'm like, okay, this is clearly hell, and I, I need to be a little bit more cautious about when I open it. And that camera angle right there should have like, clued me in. But, look, I'm like, maybe, it, maybe it's a demon cat. And I'm like, do I want to open this? And you open it. And it's all bloody inside and shit. God. This scared the fuck out of me. Don't know why it happened. I think it's just you opening the locker that sets that off. But it actually has to happen. Why? The fucker has a key. Yeah. And that's how we can get into the library reserve. I was not happy about that. I actually had to take a second right there to collect myself and... Yeah, I was like, that motherfucking cat got me again. <laughs> Only it wasn't a cat. It was an empty locker that was moving. I think that creeped me out more than the guy falling out. The guy falling out was just a jump scare. But the the fact that the locker was moving without anything actually being in it kind of freaked me out. And it made me wonder what would have happened if I didn't let the cat out. Like, nothing special happened after I let the cat out. Like, I didn't... Besides it getting eaten, but that that goes without saying. Now, like, okay, so, I almost want to, like, try playing the game from the beginning and not let the cat out get to that point again, and maybe there would be a cat in it. I don't know. But yeah, more dudes. Taking bullets to the face and shit. Was that the room I was talking about? Yeah, it was. That was the room I was talking about. Like, remember, there was no enemies in there before. Let me see if... Do I ever look at the map? Like, I'm, I'm gonna remember where I go here. I, I think I'm, like, dead set on getting to the library reserve, so I don't even look at my map. But I think that was the exact hall... That was the exact room where I said there was no respawning, like, where there were no enemies before, and then, like, I go in there later. That was the exact room where I said that. So, yeah, it, it's kind of weird how that worked. Maybe... I forgot there was knocking. Yep. Totally forgot about that part. And then it just stops. I'm like, are, are you kidding me? So, you know me. Shotgun. <laughs> Creepily knocking on door, huh? I got a gun for you. Knock, knock. But obviously nothing here. And, and here's a really big wink in the proper direction, I guess. Hearing this, the hunter armed with bow and arrow said, I will kill the lizard. But upon meeting his opponent, he held back taunting, who's afraid of a reptile? At this, the furious lizard hissed, I'll swallow you up in a single bite. Then the huge creature attacked, jaws opened wide. This was what the man wanted. Calmly drawing his bow, he shot into the lizard's gaping mouth. Effortlessly, the arrow flew, piercing the defenseless maw, and the lizard fell down dead. 
So, that is pretty much the hint for the boss that you can end almost instantly, boringly enough. It, it did scare me for a second. I, I will give the boss that much credit, but it was, it was rather silly how they decided to do that. But yeah, it's like, do I want to leave? Do I want to go back to that room? Because obviously I missed something, which I did. But, um... Yeah, I think I go back to... Why do I even have that chef knife? It's good to have in case, trust me. Well, it's like no range, and I'm more reliant upon the lead pipe than anything. In case I misclick and equip it instead, so I don't have to go back to the menu and grab out my rod. <laughs> my pop! My pop! So it's like, okay, those doors are locked. It doesn't say it's jammed, so I can actually go through it. And I just unlocked that door, which means I don't have to go through the library. Library reserve. So many R's. Ugh. It's like, okay, so do I go to the roof? It's like, wait, I'm in hell. Why the hell would I go to the roof? Oh, yeah, I equipped the shotgun again before going to the roof. Because, you know, kids, safety first. Nothing like holding a shotgun like a handgun, Harry. It's like, okay, like, am, am, I, am I stupid enough? I'm obviously very stupid because I even go out here and miss the point. But it's raining, and it's like, okay, I don't hear any hissy noises, which means there's no demonic thingy in jig. And I honestly could have, like, completed the school in this video if I had just done something up here. And it's blatantly obvious later. Like, it's probably blatantly obvious right now, but I'm just stupid. So, you turn this pipe. But if you don't do something first, you can't do it. And it's right there, and I completely miss it. Like, I, I, I notice the little table thing, looking thing, but I do not notice what's right next to it. And that's actually the pivotal part of this entire thing, is me figuring out what to do with that. Because if I do that, then I can figure it out, and when I figure it out, it, it's rather simple. I'm like, well, why the hell is that even there? I mean, it's clearly a water tank, because that's usually what va valves are used for, or steam, or, you know, some kind of energy, but being on top of a school, I openly assume water. So it's like, okay, it's even marked on my map, and where, where the fuck else can I go, right? So, okay, my objective now is to try to get to the basement, and if you hadn't noticed, the classrooms on the right side of the second floor were locked, so we need to find a key for that. The only issue with that is I don't know where the key is, and I clearly covered as much ground as humanly possible. The only way into the basement is to uh, go to the second floor and go down the stairs on the right side. But that's a problem, because the doors are locked, so I can't reach the stairs. So I need a key to unlock the classroom to go in and conquer madness. And I think I see that right there. Because the gates are in the hallways blocking my way. And it's very clever how they did that. It only gives you one way to go, really. So, if I could figure out where the key was, I, I just start backtracking. I'm like, well, I've I've pretty much been everywhere else. There may or there may be a room or two I haven't done yet. So, you know me, I'm I'm the adventurer. Nothing new. I, I I'm I'm good at this. And there's obviously a wall there, Harry. I'm like, oh, okay, like, maybe, maybe I missed something. And pig news again. See, like, there, there definitely weren't any there before, but suddenly there were, and... At least I didn't have to deal with the crying girl thing. That, that made me feel a little bit better. I'm like, well, maybe, maybe I just didn't do that right, and maybe it's locked. So I can't go through that either. And even if I did... I had gained nothing from it, I don't think. Actually, yeah, that would actually got me through. But the problem is, it's locked on the other side. So I have to go through the classroom on the upper right, down to the other classroom, go through the door, unlock that door, and then I could could have come through. But I need a key to get into the classroom. Am I making any sense yet? 
So, the objective here is to clearly figure that part out. And I think I see that. So I'm like, well, maybe there's another warp, warp thingamajig. No, no, there isn't. But I'm just trying to figure out from this point how to get to the basement. Because that's clearly where I'm supposed to be. Because there's really nowhere else to go because the roof was a dead end, wink. And um, really I've covered every other room except for the uh, back hallway, I think. Like the back entrance, like the very, very top middle room. And I think I'm looking over that and I see that, but I don't really do anything about it just yet. Do I do I go there yet? I I think that's where I decide to go next because it's really the only unmarked room I have going for me, so I think I go after that. And I really don't know what the uh Ouroboros in the middle of the school courtyard is about. I don't think we ever do anything with that, do we? It's just an awkward Ouroboros in the middle of the courtyard. So, um, yeah, don't don't expect any demonic thing coming from that. That really has nothing to do with it. Actually... Eh, speculation. Get off me! And then I'm, like, jammed on the corner there. Bad physics are bad. Try to cut me. Bastard child. Give him a second to breathe there, check my health. I, I'd like go into this place with a lot of health drink like I had about 20 at one point and now I'm like slowly losing all of them. I'm so great at this game. To my credit, I haven't died yet. Like, future video reference, I haven't died yet. So, uh, I'm in the hospital and I haven't died yet. I, I'm feeling good about that. So... Okay, main objective now is to go through here and get to the center middle top room. I'm like, shotgun time, because safety and caution and all that noise. I think that was the courtyard and I completely missed my turn. Yeah. What the hell am I doing? See, awkward Ouroboros. I think that's an Ouroboros. That's locked, can't do anything about it, so... Aw, oh, that's the end of the video, actually. At least it will be when I open up the map over here. I was like, okay, I wanted to go hit the save point, I think, so I was looking around here, trying to find something different. Maybe I go back through the clock tower, but as you see, I try, and it's locked, can't do anything about that. So I'm like, well, crap. So... At this point, I just kind of run back in. And I think this is where I just opened up the map. Yeah, I, I think we go into the uh, top middle room next time. So, uh, yeah, I've pretty much gotten the entire school down. I do think it's over in the next video. So, uh, next time we will finish off the school, and then after the next video, it won't be post commentary anymore. High five! Eh. So, this has been Fenrir. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, everyone.